I'm Laura, a recruiter with MedScribe. We're gonna hear from some of our fantastic nurses about their experience working as a UAS assessor. This role I'd heard from a colleague uh, sounded ideal. Just from my experience working in home care, it seemed like the next logical step for me. I chose to work with MedScribe because I wanted to stay in the home health industry, but I was tired of seeing six, seven, eight patients a day. At my old home health job, I did paperwork for hours at home. You get two appointments for the day, one for the morning, one for the afternoon. You are allotted three hours for each appointment. And because of that, you have no reason to take home any work with you. You complete it right there. I um, have been with the project for five years and I've never um, been in a home for three hours. So you always have some extra time. They leave you enough cushion so that nobody's rushed and you're never late to your next appointment. There's a lot of commitments in, in home care type of jobs that you don't find in this role. And so I find the balance with work and with family and making commitments I, I can do relatively easily. One of the biggest challenges being a nurse is getting paid time off. And that's not an issue when you work at MedScribe. It's very simple to request time off and to have it granted for you. The options are there for you to pay for your health insurance and also for you to put away money for your retirement in a 401k. In order to be a successful UAS nurse, I feel that you need to come with some home health experience. Um, you have to be able to, I think, maintain some sort of connection with the patient that you're talking to. Um, so if you're completely looking down at your computer typing all of the time, it's not advantageous to the assessment. You have to be able to look at their verbal and nonverbal communication skills as a nurse and determine what they're telling you is that accurate. This is not a hands-on type of job. You can't get clinical data as you would like a blood pressure, or listening to lungs. So you really have to rely on those interview skills and observation skills. But I think that the ability to work independently, to work timely, and um, to ensure that you're meeting task deadlines is very important as a UAS nurse. Staff education is top notch. I've been a nurse for 25 years. If you're chosen for the position, you have one month orientation in which you are in the classroom with people advising you on how you go about doing assessment. And then you spend a week at home just finishing up the modules to get your certification for the UAS assessment. It was a bit challenging at the beginning, but as you practice, you become perfect. So as you continually do it and do it again, it becomes second nature. I had no issues being on my own. I was very well prepared. Someone's always available for you. The supervisors are very responsive, especially for my team. If you have a question, um, there's lots of support to get your questions answered always had somebody that emails me, calls me, or texts me back within um, a very short amount of time. What I like best about the job is the autonomy that it gives me um, and really just the satisfaction of helping people to be able to um, link them up with services that can help them stay in their home. There is a lot of positive to this job. I sleep better, <laughs> I eat better <laughs> and I am less stressed. We are really trailblazing our way in the profession. There really is no lack of opportunities for us and I'm hoping that people will seriously consider this role. It's a great profession and I'm, I'm very pleased with my experience and, and uh, definitely wish the best to everyone else. If you are considering being a UAS nurse and you have the option to choose an agency, I would say choose MedScribe. If you like what you heard and you're interested in becoming part of our team, click on the link in the description to apply.